Just want to do a quick update on my greenhouse. It is Monday the 4th, 2021. Uh, it is currently 60 degrees inside the greenhouse. It is 45 degrees outside. The ground temperature outside is hovering right around 39 degrees. The ground temperature inside my greenhouse is at 45 degrees. The compost heap, which runs along the southern face of my greenhouse, is currently growing kale, pansies, and some spinach is trying to take off too. I'm also overwintering some pep my favorite pepper plants. They seem to be doing okay. Seems that they made it into dormancy without any adverse effects. Some strawberries. Seems that they went into dormancy okay and will survive the winter. Same with my blackberry. Seems to have gone dormant and will be okay. Another pepper plant. Seasoning some seeds to be planted in the spring. Some nuts. Water temperature is holding at 55 degrees, which is very nice. Everything seems to be coming along okay. The poor little mom has come about come to the end of its life cycle. It will be taken out soon. But my little uh, experiment seems to be holding up all right. The multiple overlapping systems seem to all be working together to keep this place from freezing up. You have the heat from the compost. You have the dark colored black carpet floor in here, utility carpet floor. I'm sure that draws some heat. You have the thermal mass of the water collecting heat from UV via uh, the black colors collect some heat. It's going to reflect UV on the reflecting pool. It also has the de-icer in it to prevent it from ever freezing. It'll never freeze. And then we have the reflectors that are just catching all kinds of light both from the sun, off the pool, and from everywhere else and kind of just bouncing it back in here. And so there's a solid 15 to 20 degree difference between the indoor and outdoor temperature. I'm sure that wanes a little bit at night but so long as all these systems can accumulate enough heat during the day and store it during the day and radiate it off at night to keep this place above 32 degrees, all these plants should survive. And also, all the plants in here are, are fairly hardy as well. So even if they do freeze a little bit every now and then, they should be okay. Except for maybe the pansies, because they're just, you know, pansies. But so there's my update with a few temperatures. I uh, hope this helps anybody who's looking to do the same thing. Maybe they can try to duplicate this. Uh, basically all passive. All passive unless you really want to count the de-icer that I have in the drum of water there. But, you know, that's just an emergency thing. Just in case. It's probably not even necessary. I doubt it's even kicked on yet. So, well, there you go. I hope you uh, enjoyed the video. Have a good day.